two and a four cylinder bike engines are amongst the most popular. A single and a three banger pops up sometimes as well. But six cylinders are rather rare. There are these 12 six cylinder motorcycles in the world I was able to find with your help, which is why they deserve even more respect. Honda CBX Being the flagship amongst Honda motorcycles back in time, the CBX was outsold by its smaller and cheaper sister, the CB900F. It is rather surprising, as the review suggested that the 1000 was more responsive on the throttle, rode better, felt completely different, and price difference was not worth it. The bike itself was pretty much conventional, but the engine made it stand out. Honda CBX 1400 To one guy, the CBX obviously seemed underpowered as there is a stroker kit for this bike. The engine capacity was enlarged by additional 378cc. Horsepower output and redline were also increased and the stroke CBX now sounds even better. They call it Samurai 6. BMW K1600 With the GT, GTL and B trims, the K1600 has a couple of variants, but they all share the same beautiful heart. The engine was first seen on the concept bike in 2009 as an all new unit. It is angled 55 degree forward, uses hollow cams and is just 560 mm wide. It is a truly magnificent engine and currently one of a kind on the market. One review says that it is so flexible that except for launches, it will cover all speeds easily in 6 gear. <laughs> Horex VR6 The Horex is a beautiful bike. The power plant inside it is of the VR6 layout, which you should be familiar with. It uses triple of camshafts for 18 valves. It is produced from 2013 and currently there is the MI2017 sword with a slightly upgraded engine and digital display. For a comparison, the VR6 is 430mm wide.
Honda RC174, winning 7 races out of 8. This machine deserves some respect, as Mike Halewood rode it to win Honda Construction's title and the World Championship. It managed to make it even though it was the 300cc Grand Prix and the bike only had a 300cc engine. Mike said that it was the greatest bike he ever rode. Say. The Benelli Say is characterized by straight sixes. At first, the 750cc version was launched in the beginning of the 70s as the world's first production six cylinder motorcycle. Alejandro De Tomaso, an Argentinian who's responsible for the glorious De Tomaso Pantera, also had his part developing this bike. In 1979, they increased the bow and stroke of the engine, creating the Benelli 900 Say. Honda Goldwing Although the Goldwing was introduced in the 1974, the first six-cylinder came 14 years later. It was also the first time the GL had less than one carburetor per cylinder, more precisely two for all six pods. Alongside a larger engine, the bike got bigger in every way. In 2001, a fuel-injected 1800cc motor came out, bringing even more power. FGR Midal 2500. If you thought that the Triumph Rocket 3 has the largest motorcycle engine, hold on. This checkmate bike is pushing 240 horsepower out of its 2.4 liter V6 engine. They were developing it for 6 years. The first concept came out in 2011, and today, being handmade, it is a real deal. Laverda V6 Laverda as a manufacturer is very old. It was actually founded in 1873 and ended its path in 2004. One of their extraordinary engines was a 1000cc V6 made purely for racing. It cranked out 140 horsepower and the whole bike was built around it. It supposedly had a pair of Porsche 911 headlamps and flat out it could do 177 miles per hour.
Honda RC164. The Honda RC164 was originally a four-cylinder motorcycle which by the end of the 1964 season competed against tough two-stroke rivals, namely Yamaha. For the last two races, the newly developed six-cylinder was put in and it finally won against Yamaha. There was a moment on the straight where the Honda racer couldn't afford an upshift and he kept revving up to 20,000 rpm. After a strip down, the engine was absolutely fine. This bike came before the RC165 and RC166, which were also straight sixes. Kawasaki Z1300 Z1300, KZ1300, ZG1300, ZN1300 Many names, one bike Unlike the Honda CBX, this one featured water cooling and was shaft driven It belongs to the Kawasaki Z series and was the biggest bike of them all Demand in Europe was poor, as it was expensive, heavy and quite thirsty with a mileage of 25 mpg over time, engineers swapped the triple Mikuni carburetors for fuel injection. Honda Valkyrie Sourced from the Goldwing, the Valkyrie seems like a less luxurious but definitely a lot lighter model featuring the very similar engine. The main difference is the fuel delivery. The Valkyrie uses 6 carburetors instead of 2. After a 10 year pause, in 2013, they reintroduced the Valkyrie using 1800cc engine from the GL1800 Goldwing, again, weighing less. <laughs> 